I don't want anyone to ever say that I don't go after guys who do horrendous shit as well. This is coming to us from ABC6. Father used baby as human shield. Child shot four times last month in Philly. This is from the district attorney. My goodness. Oh, wow. All those tattoos on his face. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? The father of an 11-month-old boy was shot four times in Philadelphia last month, is now under arrest in connection with the shooting, the director, the district attorney's office announced on Tuesday. Yassim Jenkins was shot four times, including once in the head, while inside a vehicle in the city's hunting, hunting park section in, on October 19th. Authorities said the toddler was in the backseat of the car, along with his father, Nafis Monroe, his stepmother, and another man when shots rang out. Investigators said Monroe used his son as a human shield to thwart off a potential upset drug dealer. He was using counterfeit money to purchase drugs, knowing that counterfeit money is something that is very upsetting to drug dealers, and when they find out that they're being burned with counterfeit money, they act violently, and that and this was not the first instance of Mr. Monroe using counterfeit money, said Anthony Vosi with the district attorney's office. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Monroe here looks very, very trustworthy. It's our belief and our investigation has led us to believe that he intentionally had his child with him when he was making such types of purchases with the idea or belief that if someone saw that he had a child in the car that they would not fire upon him, Vulci added. A human shield was prob is probably the term that I would use. Uh, trust me, people use, I mean, not, never to this degree, but people use children in this manner all the time. I mean, politicians use children as shields for all types of nonsense. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, Mr. Monroe, you're a piece of shit though. After the sh even after the shooting, Volsi said, Monroe didn't rush his son to the hospital. He also was the individual that was not only in the car with his child in harm's way, but drove the child to a house rather than taking him to a hospital immediately, then dropped the child off at the hospital and never looked back, said Volsi. Yassim Jenkins continues to fight for his life. A family spokesperson released this statement to Action News last month on behalf of Yassim's mother. My son is fighting for his life, and it is not fair. He's innocent, so precious, and his smile will brighten up anyone's day. He's such a bubbly kid, so loving and lovable. How could anyone be so heartless? Please do the right thing and help us find some form of closure or answers in this tragic situation. Help us find the shooter. I can't eat or sleep. I need justice for my baby. For the coward who did this, did this to him, you will pay. Even if it is not today or tomorrow, God will handle you accordingly. You should be talking to your baby father. This is the, the kid's father, right? So you're the woman that laid down with him. I'm sorry, but I don't, you laid down with this man. I'm pretty sure he was not pretending to be some type of upright citizen when you laid down with him to create this life. So no, I have absolutely no sympathy for the mother in this situation. Monroe was previously taken into custody on a probable violation. He has since been charged with reckless endangering of another person and endangering the welfare of a child. <sighs> Bruh, yeah, this is terrible. Uh, now, the way the article makes it sound is as if uh, you remember that scene in New Jack City where <laughs> Wesley Snipes picked up the little girl as the... Uh, as they were getting shot at during the um during the wedding or at the during the wedding reception yeah that's the way the article makes it sound but no he was just using his child as an excuse the way a lot of mothers use their children oh i got a baby with me so you got to get out of my way da, 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 da. like okay no one told you to make that kid you know <laughs> like, like it's one of the more uh i guess uh sad parts of the world that we are leaving for these kids is because you, you've you run that excuse into the ground. You've run that, oh, I got a baby thing into the ground. Where it's like, yo, no, that don't, you having a baby does not give you license to do whatever you want. And unfortunately, Mr. Monroe is learning this the hard way. And, and it's not him that's really learning it. It's his son. So this guy did everything wrong. He really did. But when it comes to that notion of using a child, oh, well, you know, no one's going to shoot at me with a baby. I mean, nine times out of 10, you're right. But the problem is that 10th time. And unfortunately, Mr. Monroe here ran across a 10th time.
So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single old day, share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch shooting like are the biggest fans of your boy over here and speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? Uh, man, prayers up for the little man. Hopefully he makes it out of this. But the father, yeah, yeah hopefully he goes to prison for a bit. And completely just has no contact with his son. Because why would you do... It's not no why. Of course why. Because he ain't got the sense that God gave a that God gave a gnat. But it is what it is, man. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one.